Greetings! This is this, and I am me. And let's just jump right in. Game jam game. Game jam game. Okay, sorry. Um, wake up, Carnix. You need to take this to Iron Striker. Gained axe. Okay. Cool. Sweet. So yeah, we're just we're just getting right into this. The sun has barely risen, but the dense, earthy smell of the peat fires is a sharp call to wakefulness. Okay. I don't want to go back to my house. I can go to the blacksmith's blacksmith's square or go to Fletcher Square. Well, I would think I would need to take the axe to the blacksmith. Ooh, talk to woman. Oh, that's a woman. I thought it was a post. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Okay, let's talk to the lady first. The caves have been whispering again. Okay. That's it? Okay. So should we go to the uh, Fletcher Square or the place where we're supposed to go? I feel like we should always go to the place we're not supposed to go first, right? <laughs> Higher in the village, the air feels cooler. You can hear the blunt sounds of the smithy far below. Oh, wait, am I supposed to go to the smithy? Or is the blacksmith the smith? Oh. Okay, um... Blacksmith's Square, Cave Entrance, oh, the caves have been whispering again. I think I'm. if I'm gonna go in the caves, I might as well go while I have an axe with me, am I right? <laughs> Looking at the cave, you think of the villagers who speak of it in hushed whispers. You've never been sure whether entering it is entirely forbidden. Um, do I want to enter the dark cave? Well... I really feel like I should go to the blacksmith because that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's go to the blacksmith. I'm, I'm getting scared. Okay. The sun is rising, burning the last vestiges, 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 okay, of mist away. You hear strange, high-pitched whispers on the breeze, like the calling of an unearthly, like the calling of unearthly birds, not an unearthly birds, because that doesn't make sense. The workshop is already sweltering. Gleaming tools line the walls, shining even brighter amid the black smut that coats every surface. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Okay, so we can talk to you, and we can talk to you. Finally, my hammer. As you've kept me, as you've kept me late, you'll have to help me with the morning's work. Start by lighting the furnace. Aw, oh, man. Okay, you know what? Why not? I'm a helpful person. The fire roars. You step back as the heat scorches your eyebrows. Not my eyebrows. So, oh, talk to him again. What do you want me to do now, dude? We need to smelt bronze. If you've forgotten how, the instructions are on the wall scroll. I mean, I, I've smelted bronze in, well, not bronze. I've smelted things in um, both Minecraft and Skyrim. So I think I got this dude, but I'll just check your instructions anyway, just in case, you know, you do it a little differently, switch it up maybe. The wall scroll illustrates the ingredients needed to smelt bronze. Yes, there's the, there's a tin can and a cooking pot, and then you get a burger patty. Okay, so tin can. Do I have to go collect those things? Tin can, a cooking pot, then I get a patty. I guess I have to go collect those things. Okay, bye dude. So I could have gone these other places first. Let's go on the rope bridge. The bridge sways slowly, creaking with the wind. You think you catch a glimpse of something far below, but it is pulled beneath the water and carried down by the current. Oh no, was it a Lapras? Go to Solitary Hill. Ah, the music changed. You see the ancient stone rooted beneath the tree. It seems to have something on it. Well then, let's look at it, why don't we? Examine stone. The stone is etched with the symbols of some long forgotten language. You wonder what it could mean. Um, those are clearly barcodes for a product. So at one point this stone was for sale um it's not anymore that's basically what that means uh, in your time in your place you might not understand that but i as a person of the past do understand um 
So yeah, cool. I don't know if I was supposed to decipher that, but I did not. <laughs> Let's just keep going. It's just no need to like stop and contemplate things if we don't know if we're stuck yet, am I right? Okay, going in the cave. Wow! Hey lady, you got one eye. All holler, the hermit blocks your path, shoving colored bowls at you and speaking a language you don't understand. Okay, so I can proceed into the cave or I can talk to the hermit. Let's talk, you know, why not? Oh, the thing that was on the stone. The hermit speaks to you in a, la in a strange, incomprehensible language. Um, but I mean, I comprehensed it on the stone, as in I know it came from the stone. Is that your attempt to go further into the cave? You attempt to go further into the cave, but the hermit blocks your path. Well, okay, but like, I know that's the language on the stone. I. What do you want me to do about that? Ah, tin scrap! You grab the lump of tin and put it in your inventory. Gained tin! Yay, okay, okay. So I'll just look for a cooking pot somewhere else. Okay. Oh wait, maybe she had a cooking pot in her cave. Cooking pot, cooking pot, cooking pot. No, oh, cooking pot, no. Okay. Let's get out on out of here. I'm liking this game. It's cute. It's little. And, oh, I can go to a person's house. Fletcher's house. An untidy home. The walls lined with, with feathers and bundles of string. There are chests and baskets of bows and arrows of every conceivable shape and size. You wonder how he came to find so many different kinds of feathers. Killing all the birds, man. All of them. Sees a bird, he kills it. Okay, so he's got an entire square named after him. That's pretty cool. Now I can't cook on, click on any cooking pots, so I'll just have to talk to him. I know you're always looking for more than this little village. Help me out this afternoon and I'll give you the key to some answers. You gather some things to make me an arrow. Okay, Fletcher. Okay, you got it, dude. Um, use the grindstone. You can't use the grindstone if you have nothing to grind. I've got an axe to grind. Ah. I had an axe to grind, and then I put it back. Fine, okay. Um, so, whittling tools. Do not use the whittling kit if you have nothing to whittle. But if I just whittle a little, then my whittling skills will um, hone, and I'll pwn all the something, the old people at the retirement home, something like that. You, you've all heard the song. Get rock! You pick up the loose cobblestones and stash them in your pocket. Gained! Rock! Okay, I've got a rock now, people. Can I chuck the rock of the hermit lady? I'm kidding, that would be mean. But she might have some feathers or something I can use. Hello, lady, do you have anything? Or sir, you know. Don't. I'm not gonna judge. Um. Blacksmith Square. Let's go back home. Oh, Main Square. Oh, Main Square. Get scrap copper. Um, grab a piece of copper and put it in your inventory. Gained copper. Sweet. Okay. So, yeah. Do I maybe have... Cave's been whisper whispering again. Okay. So she's still saying the same thing. Do I have a feather in my house? No. Okay, I only need, I mean, I need some sticks and a feather probably for the arrow, but I can, I can make this stuff for this guy. So, tin can. No, don't do it that way. Do it this way. Oh, okay. You throw the copper and tin into a smelting pot and thrust it into the fire. Before long, the metals begin to melt down and, with a little stirring, start to form liquid bronze. Yeah, dude, I did it. Um, so, yeah, what do you want to say to me, dude? You're a good kid, Carnix. Take this. No one should be without a fire starter. Gained flint. Oh, I can use that to make the arrow. Okay, and I can use that on the grindstone, right? Do you have anything? Get along now. I have work that needs doing. Okay, bye. Sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. Wait, did you have any feathers? Sir? Any feathers? Okay. Never mind. Bye. Maybe there's a feather this way. A twig. Yes. Yes! 
Okay, cool. I don't think we have to look at the rock yet. I think we have to wait until we get the arrow for Fletcher. Um, so yeah, this is a Game Jam game. So, you know, it's just a little, a quick little game. But it's great. I'm not having any problems with it. A lot of times I have problems with these games and I'm like, why doesn't it work for me? Um, but this one's this is doing just fine. So you whistle, you whittle, whistle while you work. You whittle the stick down into a straight shaft fit to be made into an arrow. Gain shaft, yay! And we'll just grind this into an arrowhead. Yes, you sharpen the rock into a rough but functional arrowhead. Gained arrowhead. Okay, dude, is that enough for, oh, and I still have some flint. Oh, the rock was it? Oh, duh, okay. So, can I do it now? It's not so bad, this way of life. Take this. Gained ruby. Dude, sweet, I got a ruby. I thought you said you were gonna, you were gonna tell me about knowledge or something though, dude. Can I whittle the ruby into something else? <laughs> you don't need to use that again. Fine. I won't, leave me alone. Um, maybe I could trade the ruby with this lady. Would you like a ruby? <sighs> Fine. Would you like me to stab you with my flint? Sorry, is that harsh? Um... The workshop is already sweltering. Gleaming tools line the walls, shining even brighter amid the black smut that coats every surface. Did I read that before? Can't remember. Fine, let's look at the rock again. Maybe we rub the ruby on top of it and it, it deciphers the code. Scroll down. What? Uh... What do you want from me? Ah, okay. I clicked on the lady. You show her the ruby. There is no J, K, V, W, X, or Y. There is no J, K, V, W, X, or Y. Uh, okay. There is no J, K, V, W, X, or Y. Okay, but... I still can't do anything. Okay, I'm kind of stuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Look, I get that this could be decoded somehow, but even if I figured it out, what would I then do with that knowledge? Like, the game doesn't know, like, there's no place for me to input anything. Like, how, how do they know when I figured something out versus when I haven't? Okay, so technically, I mean, not technically, <laughs> apparently, the last, um, this last part is something you need to decode, which obviously, you know, you could tell that that's what it was. Um, but you have to, like, you know, really, like, decode it, decode it. Like, use your brain to decode it. And ain't nobody got time for that. So, I had to look it up. Um, because I, I... Like, honestly, I just, I don't have time to do that. I would love to do that. I love decoding things. I love puzzles. And in my spare time, I might even go back and decode it myself. But, um, apparently you're just supposed to decode it. And then you're supposed to know to, like, click on this. You pocket a sprig of herbs, gained herb. Even though, like, it doesn't have, like, a clicky spot. So, I guess, I guess that's why they do it. So then you can't just... You, you have to decode You can't just look around until you find something to click on. If you, I decoded it, it would say something about how I have to click on that herb and how I'm supposed to put it in a uh, not this one, a uh, not this one, but this one. Yay! She smiles, recognizing you as a fellow student of the old ways. She stands aside, revealing a cracked entrance to a deeper cave. Okay, let's go in the cave. <gasps> oh! The air here is still and cold. There was an unsettling vibration at the edge of hearing, the whir of some unseen evil reverberating beyond the darkness. Go straight towards it. Horrifying ancient symbols glow on the wall here. Their hard cut lines look both familiar and unknowable. <laughs> that's, that's great. So it is the future and I, I was making a joke about how things look like a barcode and I'm from the past so I know what that looks like. But look, these horrifying ancient symbols. Twitter, Facebook, Windows, Apple, Xbox. I know that one. I totally and completely know that one. 
this I'm not recognizing and this I'm not recognizing, which is probably pathetic, but um, oh my god, oh no, this is like Adidas, right? Adidas. Is that Adidas? Because the rest of them are like technology things. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's Sprint or something. Um, and then I don't know what that is. But anyway, we're gonna proceed, yeah. Ooh, the walls are lined with rusted relics, still living, still breathing, their soft beeps and whirs like a flock of sleeping birds. Their glowing eyes are watchful as you tread lightly, fearing to startle them from their ancient slumber. <laughs> ah, this is great. Oh, because this the game jam that this was for was ancient technology, I think. So this is great. Blue Mountain Server, uh, Blue Mountain Secure Server Hub, blah, 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 blah. Entry number 8,943. I can hear the destruction outside only as a muffled roar, constant unending. It shakes the shelves from their brackets. But we promised it, unlimited service till the bitter end. The servers shall not go down. <laughs> ah! That's it! Thank you for playing Bronze Punk! Yay! Thank you, Ben, Faye, and Robin! Woot woot! That was... That was so fun! I like that! Ancient technology was the technology of now, but ancient for these folks. Yay! It was fun. I liked that. Yes! More games like that, please. Just nice easy i can play them i can do them like i've been having a really hard time finding games lately um not i mean there's bajillions of games out there in the world but like to fit my special specifications it can be difficult sometimes so thank you so much for watching this game if you would like to play it yourself i'll put a link in the description although i kind of just ruined the whole thing for you probably should have put a spoiler alert at the beginning sorry um but you can still go and you can you can decipher the puzzle for yourself, so that's fun. If you like to decode things and whatnot. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.